Are you concerned about Jalen Hurts after the loss last night? God, I'm torn right now, and Acho hates when I'm torn because uh, I want to do my job as a broadcaster. But before I'm a broadcaster, I'm a person. Yes, I am a human being. And the human side of me, Acho always says, Aww. is pretty heartless. Um, I'm going to tell Jalen what he needs to hear. Jalen, I'm going to tell you the honest to God's truth. Bruh. I didn't know it was going to be like this. And <laughs> what this is, is I don't know if he's great enough to do well it's with fair. what's around him. Fair. Okay? Yep. That's the nice way of saying it. Basically, is Jalen Hurts greater than the greatest excuses, which are his personnel, the players around him, the play calling, his circumstances? I don't know because I don't see a guy who's committed to his athletic ability. I see a guy who's calculated. Or I see a guy, let's be real, maybe scared to get hit, which is smart. Also, I see a guy who has a lower ceiling in terms of absolute potential than I thought before. I add all that up, and I say none of that in a pure vacuum is a problem, except if you're in the wrong situation. Then all of a sudden, you become a pro that has to go with the flow versus a quarterback that can swim upstream. I don't see it in Jalen Hurts to swim upstream against all of these variables that are against him. We talked about the offensive line. We talked about the injuries on the defensive side. We talked about some of the issues they have in personnel. But, wow, here's my biggest issue. Jalen knows this, too, and I can tell by his, his demeanor. I can tell by his decorum. I can tell by how he dressed. I can tell by everything. He's trying to be cool, calm, and collected, even kill, right? Here's the problem. When you ain't killing nothing, don't be even, mm. bro. I need you to be hot. That's I need you to be cold. That's a bar. Hey, that's a bar. When you my teammate and my that's quarterback and you being even killed and we getting smashed, they taking squats on us, I need a little more <laughs> out of you. Nothing, so all I'm saying is I was torn because I love me some Jalen Hurts. But it's time to remix who you are, big dog, or else this is going to go down. Hold, hold, hold. <laughs> I mean, my man's a young pup still, he is okay? Fast. He fast. is the He's youngest. What, six games in, really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, he watched a bunch, night. but he only played three last year. He's That's played fair. three this year. Here's, here's all I'm going to say. I think he has the talent. I think there's some serious holes around yep. him. He's going to need a lot of help, right? Just like young players in general. Look at all the rookie players, all the rookie quarterbacks. Uh, nine interceptions, two mm -hmm. touchdowns mm -hmm. last week. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, 0-4 last week. All these yeah. young guys, you got to take your lumps now. It's not Real. easy. Here's, here's what I saw on those two interceptions. There's three reasons for throwing a pick, okay? Bad decision, you force a ball downfield. Yes, Been there, done that, it sucks. Everybody knows, usually. Why'd you throw in a uh, <laughs> defensive team meeting? Stop doing that. Got it, <laughs> right, Coach, right. thanks. Yeah, yeah. Number two, bad throw, physical mistake. I just missed. Yep. My mechanics were off, something was off. I stepped the wrong way. I was trying to do a little too much, boom. I missed the throw. Mm. The third reason is a really good, spectacular, you know, yep. type play from a defense that's highlight worthy through the okay. week. The two interceptions that he threw are completely fixable. That's why I don't hit the panic button on him yet. Mm. It's what he did on that deep ball, he underthrew it. He missed. It was a physical mistake. That's it. Everything leading up to that, I loved. He recognized the coverage. He knew I had one-on-one. -on -one. Boom. I got a go ball, but who do I have to be aware of? That deep safety. I'm going to look him to the left. Boom. I'll hold him for a second, come back and throw it. Then he, then he just flubbed the throw. Yeah. The other one was the quick game to the left. He just telegraphed it. He caught the ball. He was so excited. He felt, hey, Trayvon Diggs is off. I got my quick out. Let's go, Oki. We worked this all week in practice. I got this, boys. Boom. And he put his eyes there too quick. Too I'd love to see him just hold for one second, hit his back foot, and then react to it, and then get your eyes there. But as soon as he did it yeah. in zone coverage, Trayvon's locked in <laughs> on him. He's not watching the receiver. He's zone reading and reading your drop. And as Smith soon, falls. Boom. Mm. And, I mean, True. that would have gone the other way either way. Either way? I think. Okay. But – as soon as he sees him hit that plant foot and he's staring at the guy, boom. That's yeah. easy money. I so hear you. I don't, I don't hate where he's at. He's got a lot of work to do, mm -hmm. long way to go, but they need to help him. Mm. I'm concerned direly for Jalen Hurts. That's truly uh -oh. it. That's truly uh -oh. it. I am. Uh -oh. You should be too. Not the praying hands. Not, they come out when you get concerned. Oh, they come out when you get concerned. Now, okay. <laughs> The reason I'm so concerned isn't because it hurts. Because I feel you, Marcellus Wiley, if anybody is an overcomer, it's Jalen Hurts. Yes. Right? He gets his job taken at Alabama. Then he takes the job of the guy who took his job in the SEC championship game to lead Alabama back to a national championship, ultimately to transfer just to finish second in the Heisman voting race his last year. Jalen Hurts can overcome anything. Mm. Oh, but boy, can you overcome the Philadelphia Eagles <laughs> and they fans. Mm -hmm. 
I grew an affinity for this man, Mark <laughs> Sanchez, while we both played for the Eagles. And you know as good, if not better than I, they love you immensely. Yeah. Oh, but they will let you know when they hate you. <laughs> and if they Fair. can boo Santa Claus, yeah. you best believe. They can boo Jalen Hurts. Yeah. So why I'm worried about Jalen Hurts is because I don't know that he will be able to, by his play, sustain the criticism. Sal brings up a good point. Jalen Hurts is good, but I don't think he's good enough to overcome the surroundings. Mm. We all equated, at least verbally, several people did, Jalen Hurts to Dak Prescott early on. Rookie years, right? Yeah. Rookie year Jalen yeah. Hurts, rookie year Dak Prescott. Both mobile-ish, both can make some accurate throws. Not going to kill you with their speed, but they can do enough. Dak's more of a pure passer. Keep going. True. Okay. But here's the other thing. Jalen Hurts stepped onto a team with no bona fide number one receiver. No. He no. stepped onto a team with no clear cut number one tight end. He stepped onto a team without a dominant offensive line. He doesn't have enough help. Mm -hmm. Go back to Agreed. rookie year Dak. Rookie year Dak steps onto a team with maybe the best offensive line in the 2010s. Facts. Not even maybe. Facts. The best offensive Five line in the of 2010s. Yep. He steps onto the team with <laughs> the best receiver in Cowboys history as it pertains to catching touchdowns in Des Bryant. He steps onto a team with a future Hall of Fame tight end in Col uh, and Jason Witten. He steps onto a team with an all-pro slot receiver in Cole Beasley. He steps onto a team with a top five running back in Ezekiel Elliott. So all you got to do is manage. Mm. But Jalen Hurts has to do more than manage. He has to win. Yep. And for that Correct. reason, I'm Let like, hey, it. man, between having it. to win and not being able to and playing with them Philly fans, Let's say it. it's rough now. Yeah, the only place I ever got hit with a frozen battery, Philadelphia, <laughs> right? I mean, I was like, it hit me so hard. I was like, what the hell? Then I saw it was snow. I was like, I live in Buffalo. Nothing's that hard. <laughs> Oh, it's a D battery in this <laughs> here. Okay, Philly fans, I'm giving you some. I don't think I got to McNabb that day. Here's the thing. Um, let's be real. Uh, up here, three former players, no moderator. Hey, nobody there. We can talk that yes, sir. talk. Talk, let's that talk, talk that talk. Ain't nobody watching. Remember in Alabama where we saw a Jalen Hurts lose his job? And when Jalen Hurts had to leave and transfer, there was an indictment, a private indictment that became public in action, which was... Uh, we're winning, but there could be more extracted from the surroundings mm -hmm. in terms of personnel. So they made the switch, and obviously down in the big game, championship game, et cetera. Now, fast forward to this year in the offseason. Deshaun Watson, rumors mm -hmm. of trades. There's only two teams rumored. Miami with Tua. Yep. Hey, Jalen, remember Tua? Um, and Philadelphia. I think the same indictment is being made privately in terms of why didn't he get the opportunity to be the starter the entire offseason? They made him sweat for it. Sweat for it for who and for what? They made him go all the way to the last week of preseason before declaring him mm -hmm. as their franchise quarterback. I think he's damn good. I just don't think he's greater than this mess around him in terms of being that guy. You add up what I'm saying to what Acho is saying in terms of the reception. They won't give him the runway to blossom. They're going to step on him and... They're going to look at it and say this is now a weed when it was something that they should have cultivated. And I don't think they're going to be able to do it in time. And I think he's going to end up. I'm, I'm curious, Sanchez, because here's the thing, so I got to I got to pause. You want to hear hyperbole because sometimes we'll run with it. Look, you said he's dang good. Jalen Hurts. I think he's damn good. He is good. He's solid. He's, he can manage it. He can have a couple splash I didn't say plays, great. I said damn good. I don't know if he's like a guy who's ever going to crack the top 10, top 12, top 15, so he's, maybe. So he's, he's a, right there in the middle of the pack. And like, you know, if he eliminates two mistakes last night, he plays solid. And the yeah. game's within reach. But he's not going to be that guy that Dak has shown First to be. First two picks last night. Right. You act like that happens every week. Here's, First two here's the issue. Why did he lose his job? At Al what was the most famous play to a made, if you all remember, at Alabama? He comes into the national championship. Yeah, that big bomb, bomb, right? Big bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he do on that big bomb? What did he do? Didn't he look the safety off? Look yeah. to his yeah, right, yeah, look yeah, to his yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spun his head, I mean, snapped his head to the left and threw it. Talk about hyperbole. That's yeah. one play. Is it not the exact same quarterback movement, the exact same quarterback play, mm. the exact same mm. throw that mm. Jalen Hurts missed last night? To a made as a freshman to take Jalen Hurts' job? All I'm saying is. That's not a layup. Sanchez and I talked about this off mic, but that's it. Looking left, looking left, looking left. Snap your head to the right and make the throw. We just saw Tua do it as a freshman. He's yep. why your job yep. got taken for that <laughs> wow. same play. Okay. And you missed on it. Now, I'm not mad at the miss. Sanchez and I literally <laughs> talked yeah. walking outside of the dressing room. But can we? let me look at my dog, Sanchez. Mm. Sanchez said something, Marcellus Wiley, that I think the world needs to hear. If you're going to miss, where you got to miss? Over his shoulder, long. You got to miss gotta go long, long and outside. You can't long miss and short and inside. But that's you like will miss 
That's, short and inside I mean, at times, but you shouldn't. You really should. I mean, that's like the cardinal sin unless you're going to get – that was so short that his guy couldn't even come, come back. back like, it wasn't defense. even a jump ball. Facts, You know facts. what I'm saying? That was – Facts. I understand where you're going. It was an egregious miss. So the only thing I'm saying kind of – and my, my, my final thought is if we have concluded that he's a top 12 to 15 quarterback, I hate putting ceilings on guys because people mm. always put ceilings on me. But if we're just going to <laughs> analytically look at it, take the emotion out of it, Jalen Hurts, we all love you. If we assume you're a top 12 to 15 quarterback, you can't win a Super Bowl with that. Well, I don't uh, know. No, no, we got can that you? in history. We got uh, no. anomalies in history. Can and I, you? I don't want to condemn anybody. I don't want to say any names, Trent. I don't want to say any names, It's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. You're not going to win like four in a row right. or be in the championship You're gonna game get a maybe one four times in a row. Nick Foles. But you can make it happen. You we can do it. Yeah, Jimmy G was. We do a couple not minutes slander away. Nick Foles I, on this. I know you're gonna go there. Why we is don't. this your bestie? I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna do my job. Here's the thing. You. you know what's so funny, Sanchez? Like, I know how you guys know each other and how you guys met. Do you know how I met this guy the first time? I don't know See, this I is why know. you gotta allow someone to blossom. Because I met him and you were like just hanging out. I ain't gonna go too deep. Uh, shadowing. <laughs> this how I do it. I met him and I met him just on GP. I didn't know who he was. Obviously, he knew who I am. I'm that dude. So I'm like, all right, respect. We exchange numbers. I let him text me three times before I answer one. You know, we were doing that for years. He left for you years. He left for you years. So I got texts from him. Yay. He's like, hey, Wally, what should I do in this situation? I was oh. like, stop texting me. Okay, I answer. <laughs> so anyway, it. we get to this place. You fast forward, look at who he is. This is Emmanuel Acho. When I go out, I say, yeah, I'm here with the Acho party. That's how I get into places now. But yeah. let me say this. Oh, you brought point. that up. Yeah. You, you had no reason to bring that up. I did. You had absolutely I did. no Here reason to bring that up. Did, 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 there's a unanimous MVP by the name of Lamar Jackson. Yes, sir. Right? And y'all remember Lamar Jackson when he first started off? Let me give you Lamar Jackson's early numbers. And tell me, should we give up yeah. on Jalen Hurts just yet? Do you know Lamar Jackson's early numbers passing yards per game, 151? And Jalen Hurts, 282. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Touchdown interception was a 3-3 three to three for Jackson. 6-2 and two for Hurts. Passer rating, 79 for Jackson. And Hurts is 80. Look at these guys. They're basically the same. And Lamar was a worse runner with the football than young Jalen Hurts. He's really in his rookie campaign, as, yeah. as Mark said. Games, yeah. And I don't want to condemn him. Here's the problem. A lot of rookies get ruined in situations where there isn't grace from the fan base, mm -hmm. where there isn't patience from the organization, and where there isn't surrounding talent. My greatest concern is, is Jalen Hurts going to be in cultivated ground, or is he going to be out there just left to dry?